All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a brand new type of video. I have never done one of these before, so please bear with me. I had a very hard time learning how to record this and getting just the angles right and everything. But anyway, today I'm gonna to be doing a house tour of one of my Sims houses. And this video is actually not for you guys, sorry. I'm just kidding, this is for my friend Alex, my best friend from high school. He and I love video games and sims, so I'm actually doing this house tour for him because I didn't want to lug my laptop over to his house, so I'm making a video so that he can see it now. So this is just the front outside of the house. I have the house on a extended height foundation because of the, um, con what is it called? Constrained floor elevation, whatever it's called. I have no idea. Um, and then I have a little lagoon around the front of my property where I have a full wraparound patio on the front floor. And now we're just gonna go in, and again, as you see, I'm sorry guys, it's pretty shaky. This is the first time I've ever done a video like this. And yeah, so when you first walk in, you have this little foyer with a sitting nook right in front of you, then three little sculptures on the side, and a graphic rug. For those of you who have been watching my channel for a while, I'm sure you could already guess I love modern things. So of course my house is going to be modern, all glass, with nice modern flooring, and then over here I have a little reading nook with two snakeskin chairs. And then in here, I also have another little reading nook. You guys will see there's quite a few of these. I have intelligent sims living in this house. Jokes, not really. All of my sims die when I'm building houses. Um, I'm not the kind of person who actually plays the game. I just build houses, so half the time I forget to put in a kitchen and then my sim dies in the middle of building. But today, I actually finished the whole house. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. Here is a little office area for my sim. It is very bright, very white with pops of color in the carpeting and desk. And then for those little circle carpets, those are just pure white and I thought the layering of them looked really cool. And this has a view of the ocean and out onto the pool deck area. Going to the other side of the house now, we are going to pass the front door again, and right here on the right hand side we have a little downstairs bathroom. This is a two piece, so just a sink and a toilet, and yeah, I really like how this bathroom came out. It's very simplistic and very minimalistic with a red accent wall, and then black and white everything else with pops of color with the artwork on the wall. Leaving the bathroom, we're going to go into the staircase foyer, and right off of that, we have a little library that we're going to go into right now. I really love using bookcases as wall dividers because I think it adds a little bit of character and it makes it not so boring. And also, of course, your sims can read the books as well. And this little library room is right off the front door of the house, and it looks right onto the lagoon and front drive. Moving into the kitchen, I made a smaller kitchen for this house. Usually I make ridiculous kitchens for no reason, but this one I wanted to be a little bit smaller. It's sort of a galley kitchen, but not quite. It does have an island in the middle, but most of the workstation space is on the two sides. And again, the black and white palette, as you'll see running consistently through the house, can be found in the kitchen as well. And then moving through the side door, we come out onto the patio pool area. There is a small little bridge right here that we're about to go over that leads you out to the edge of the property so you can look out onto the water. And also there's this little diving well, not really diving well, but this cool like square part in the middle of the pool where I have the bridge going over it. And then going up the grand staircase, we're going to go up to the second floor. Through here we have two hallways. Right now we're going to go down the right one, which leads you into the main area of the house. And I have a small sitting area right here to the right with a, I believe it's kind of like a Moroccan in styled print on that sofa with yellow graphic bookcases. And then a small seating area to the left of the staircase as well. And then moving down the hallway, we have another small sitting area right here on the side of the house looking out onto the water with those same Moroccan print sofas. 
And I don't know why they're not showing up, but in this little side wall here, there is greenery, but it's not picking it up for some reason. I do have a bootleg version of Sims, by the way. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, but some of the things don't work quite right, like greenery in the house sometimes. But anyway, now we are in the game room, so there is a semi-sectional sofa with a foosball table and TV seating area. And then a small balcony off this side of the house as well. Moving to the other side of the house, we're going to take a left off that staircase going into the theater room, and through here you have seating with chairs and of course the red carpeting to emulate the theater feel. And to change it up and make it a little non-traditional, I have bright stark white sofas. And right off the side here we have a little balcony as well. And then this is just a downward view look at the pool area. And now we are going to head upstairs to the bedroom floors. And there is Carissa, my sim. If you guys didn't already guess, she is named after Carissa Pukas here on YouTube. And we're going to go into the guest bedroom now. In this room you have two long skylights spanning the length of the room, and this room is a very open, airy, kind of beachy feel. It has the cabinet, not cabinet, cabin style furniture and a very nice pop of color on the two rugs in the middle of the room. Wow, awkward pause. I like couldn't think of the name for rugs for a second. Oh my god, sorry guys. Anyway, we're going to move into the ensuite for this guest room. And here the color palette is very similar to the main room. It's very bright and airy, and I really like it. There is a partition between the toilet and the rest of the room for privacy, and then a little walk-in shower there. Leaving this bedroom, we're going to go to the other side of the house, and before you enter the master bedroom, there's a little reading nook here again. As I said, there'll be quite a few of these guys, and here I just laid down some bookshelves and turned some around to give flat wall paneling of wood. And into the master suite. So here we have a little small sitting area before you go into the actual bed area, and over here is the kind of canopy style bed with bookcases surrounding it, making walls. So there are really no walls in this room, it's the bookcases that are making partitions, and then of course a large balcony off the main room. In the bathroom, you again have wall partitions separating the toilet from the main room for privacy, and then a long master ensuite with a very modern countertop, and then a soaker tub in the back. And for a room divider, there is a glass wall here with some foliage in the middle. I really like doing this in all of my houses. I like adding a natural aspect into the room without it being just potted plants. I think having fresh foliage growing makes a very modern and clean feel to the room. And then up onto the roof, I have a kind of... I guess the garden area with a large sculpture in the middle, and then over here I have a telescope which Alex actually just told me you can kill your sims with if you look at the stars, a meteor could hit them, so I'm gonna try to do that, because um, <laughs> you know, we want to kill all our sims of course. And now we're just gonna do a final overview of the house with some shots on the side. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see some more of my Sims houses, please let me know in the comment bar down below. I love making them. And yeah, I will definitely figure out how to film a little bit better if you guys want to see more of these. And for Alex Broski, I hope you liked this house. Um, this is what I like to create modern houses. That mansion you showed me was absolutely sick. But yeah, so this is what I like to create, and I hope you liked it. So again guys, thank you so much for watching, and if you have not watched my last video on the HUM Daily Cleanse system, please do that. I do have a giveaway of it, so one of you guys can get it for free, so be sure to, bleh, be sure to check that out, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye! -ya.